Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the policies in editable template. So before we start about the policies, you must understand what is the need of policies. So if you have already worked with static templates, you must know the design mode. So whatever you were achieving through the design mode for static templates, same kind of feature we will be achieving through policies for editable templates. So along with these features, policies enable one very strong functionality or feature uh, called style system for editable templates. So what is content policy? So con policy from using policy you can define the behavior of your template editable templates means the pages as well as the components behavior. So through content policies or the policies you can define the design properties means the properties will be available throughout your pages for that particular template and you can define or enable the style system style system is very strong feature we'll see that in a different tutorial broadly you can categorize policies in two ways page policy and content policy basically there is a no straight line between these two but you must understand what exactly i explain so to make you understand i created a page using editable templates now if you see whenever I try to add a component nothing comes up in either of the parses so I created this template in my last tutorial if you did not see that please go back and check how to create editable templates so now uh, what you can do you must allow the components to these parses so for that first you have to go to the templates tools and templates here you see your template so this is basically my template if I edit that So this is my template. So here you will understand two concepts, the difference between the page policy and content policy. So the, for to open page policy, go to the left side top in three dots and you will see a page policy here. Right now you don't see anything here, but when you create a project, you must see some existing policies to just make you understand I deleted all the existing policies. So now what you can do, you can give a title to the policy. This is basically a page level policy. Now you will be seeing the right hand side, you will see some options. So you will see the client library, client library, JavaScript page head and two other options. So what you can do whenever you want to add any client library to this template means any page which is created using this template, this client library will be available. So now this option is enable or allow content author or the template admin to add client libraries so this option is a drop down and all the client library will be available here so let's say let me add my client lib when you start typing you will get your client libraries right this side so let's let me add a base and let me add one more let's say dependency So these client library will be added to all the pages which are created using this. Now there is one more section of client library. So let's let's understand this. Sometime when you add uh, means all the JavaScript of that client library will be added at the bottom of the page. But let's say some of your component needs some JavaScript, right? to function properly but that javascript will be load at end of the page so you might get error because your page is load before your javascript load so in that case if you need any dependency or any javascript that should be load at starting of the page mean head section so you can add those client library here so whatever you add here the js part means the javascript part will be add or load in head section of your page so that will be available for your component. So you can add those kind of client library here. Now you must see one more option. So this is also for the client library. So this is a third option. Now you must understand what is the purpose of this. So uh, nowadays, whatever the resources you add, let's say you have some icons, font files and other resources those resources or assets should be part of your resource folder under client library right that is the standard now so if you have that kind of client library which actually has the resources let's say icon phone file and some other images so that kind of client library you should add here right 
uh, means the client library which contain resources so you should add here now skip to the main element so you can add a selector here which will be added to your main part main main section of your page let's say in some cases you try to find your main section so you can find using this selector so you can add some selector here so all the client library which you added those will be loaded for this template as well as means the pages created using this template now you must see the second styles so this section will be used for styling system right so i'll explain the styling system in a separate tutorial but for now you must understand whatever the configuration you add here those will be the part of this policy okay so let's save it so now a policy has been added at a page level for this template means for the all pages which uh, created using this template so now if i still try to add the components to that page you won't because we still did not define the components we only define the page level means what kind of plant library will be loaded for this template so again go back and you can so here you have to define the policy for each of your parts so here so you can assume this as a content policy but there is a no you know no separation line you must understand the concepts okay so what you can do click on this container so we are defining now policy for the container right and click on the policy icon right now you don't see because i removed everything in your case you might find some policies here in this drop down so let's say we have two parses so let's create for the left parses in the left section correct okay. and save it in the right hand side you see the different options so you must understand like these options are different for different kind of policies so for page policy you have a different option for container you have a different option when and when you will be adding the policy for different components you might have different options you can create your own as well but that i will explain in some other tutorial that is a bit of advanced topic for now for left section what kind of components you allow so let's say i need my geeks component let's say uh, geeks content and global structure i don't need let's uh, keep only these two components okay now the default component right default component it's basically the mapping so this default component mapping define like which component are automatically associated with a given media types so for responsive setting basically define how many columns it will take for the responsive design background is for background image enable or disable and style is for use for styling system so we'll see the styling system in a different tutorial so let me save this okay as soon as you save this you will see these components means all the components are allowed you see in editable template uh, now if i reload this page now you see i can see a plus icon and i can add components or i can add components from the left section as well okay so same way you can create a different policy for the left hand uh, right hand side parses or you can reuse this let's say i add here so i can add a new policy or i can use the existing policy left hand side section so let me add a new policy for the right hand side section so for right section i only added few components i am i'm only allowing only three components that should be added or enabled to be added here so let's save it and now if you reload this page i must be allowed only three components because i only allowed three components here now this was also for page level right uh, for page level you were defining what kind of components can be allowed to page for now let me add a component here let's say i add a form components form form was not allowed so let me allow form first so i reopen the policy and let me allow form so for form i'm just removing this only allow form container save it 
just refresh this page once and then add form container right so this is basically a form container but form container itself is not enough you need form elements means like text uh, means text field or buttons or options means checkbox and all so now in this this is also a con uh, container component you must understand because this hold other components so when i try to add right i don't see other components right i see these components because parent policy is allowed right parent policy allow these components but i don't see these components means form related components here right so for that what you can do you can write a specific policy for your component so let's go to this template and just try to find your form container this is my form uh, container click on this tiny icon you don't see anything here right so what I'll do I'll create one more let's say the form policy and in this form policy, I added the component form components. So now if I try to add components, you must see the form related components because now for this components, I added a specific policy. Now the parent policy is not allowed. Now I can use. Uh, so in that way, you can add policy for your component itself, right? Must you must see here, if I open this again, you might see the different uh, these fields earlier you see the different fields so again the fields might be different for different components so suppose some components using different fields for let's say text component text means rte rte use the different components so you different fields so you must see the different fields here so now you understood about the policies. There is one more concept like how these policies are stored in CRXT as well as the file structure. That is also a very important part. Okay, now let's go to conf because the editable template is stored here. Go to your and settings, WCM. And inside this, you will see here when you open the template. So we added this for this template. So you will see a policy node here. And as well as parallel to these templates, you will see the policies node here as well. So how these are stored. So in the template node, right, whatever the templates you have, let's say you have three templates. So each templates will have this node. So this policy node contain a reference, reference to the actual policy and actual policy stored under this policy section right uh, 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 with a respective node name so let's say your page policy your page policy is stored under jcr content right if you click on this you will see a policy saying am geeks component page policy so this path is relative to this policy means this part this path start from this policy node policy section so page policy stored what is the path am geeks components page because that was the page level so go here am geeks components and you see the page right under this there is a policy so this was the policy you know we saved as a page policy even you can see here client types this one head means whatever we added in header and whatever we added in apps resource means the second last field okay so these are stored here same way if you open now go back this was the page level policy so if you check where your component level policy is stored okay go here container so this was the initial container like our, our own means base base container so we added policy for inner container like left section and right section so if you remember we added policy for this one this was the left and for this this was the right and these are under a container so if you open this you will see this is a container so same way you can see here this is my parent container and now you see this right this was my left right container so what there is a policy under code here container so this is the reference to that policy come here container 
and you will see a policy here. This was the left section policy, right? You can identify through numbers. You know, if I click here, you can see a number 80. Uh, let's say this one. This is the 30, and through this, I can open it, right? You see. See what are the components allowed. You can see here. This is the left section, and what are the components allowed? means my content global and the container I allow the form container as well and same way you can see here this is for the right section and right section is you can see this three zero this is my policy and components allowed are these one I add out these three components so that's how this component policies are stored so you must understand for each template you will be having this policy node this policy node will be having a reference to the actual policy file where it is and the actual policy file will be under this policy as per your node let's say you have some xvz node so that same node will be created here under this this policy will be stored okay you must understand one more thing how these are stored in file system basically file system is the you know real thing which you will be committing to your code base right you you will not commit this so there you must understand how these nodes are stored in file so that you can commit in your code base like uh, github and all whatever you are using so in crxd you will see a different node let's say this policy node so you seeing the different different nodes but in actual file system you will see only one node let's say this template and go to the page and then policy so you see only a single file this single file will contain whole structure right so please keep in mind this this one the policy actually we created for the page this is the page policy and the same way this is the only file which contain all your nodes information because in actual crxd you will see a different node and same for this policy as well this policy you see a different different nodes here but in actual file system you will see only one file so with that policy close this close this and this is our policy okay under policy you see only one file content.xml and this whole file will contain all the information right see for this page page policy what we added this is the information for the page policy and this is the information for left and right section of the policy this is for container you will see a hierarchy means xml hierarchy and same way you can find for others as well so ideally in file structure there is only one file which hold this whole information i hope you understood about the policies how to create and how to add information how policies are stored if you have any question please do comment thank you